If I was a worm, would you still love me? Like, saying good. <laughs> good what? <laughs> good. Good what? You're about to say it, I know it. He's about to say good girl. <laughs> Here's what we're doing. My mom is coming into town today. She's got friends in New York. We're taking them out. I think we're going to Soho. I think we're going to get hot pot. But that's not the point. The point is, I am going to be annoying the shit out of my fiance for the next 24 hours. And if you want to be like, Stephanie, I thought that's what you already do. You're absolutely correct. But I'm going to do it on steroids today. I am going to manually pick his biggest pet peeves. And I am going to do them all freaking day long. So things like asking him if he would still love me if I was a worm or a pigeon. Would he cage me if I was a pigeon? But then I would be sad because he caged me. But then I'm a pigeon. But then if he doesn't cage me, then I would fly away. And then we couldn't be together. Like hypothetical questions i'm gonna walk super slow today he freaking hates slow walkers he only hates slow walkers if they have the ability to walk fast you know what i mean you get it he also doesn't like oh he hates it when people ramble like when they don't get to the story quick when they just go on and on about minute details that have nothing to do with the plot so i'm gonna do all of that i'm just gonna annoy the shit out of him so um <laughs> let's see how he reacts So I got my fiance here with me. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog. We have been cleaning the entire apartment all freaking morning and um, yeah, my mom is coming. Are you excited? It still looks like. I know, it still kind of looks like. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Why is it so hard to clean this space? But I feel like I just moved out for the first time and my mom is like coming to judge. It's like judgment day. She's gonna judge the shit out of this place. So I'm kind of nervous, but today's vlog is gonna be uh, what I do in a day, mom and daughter edition. Mom and daughter take New York City. So um, I was cleaning the bathroom and I was watching TikTok and I have a question for you, honey. And this is- Here we go again. No, I'm just be freaking serious. BFFR, be for real, okay? I will be for real. If I was a worm, would you still love me? But you are a worm. I'm being for real. If you're a worm. Like tomorrow, there is a like like evil a witch. Size worm? No, I'm like a skinny worm. You know the ones that we find in our driveway after it rains? Would you still hey, love me? Hey, those are cool though. Did you know if you cut them in half, they turn into two? I'm and hey, if you cut them into 11. 11 worms? That's a soccer team. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> So be for real, be at the farm. Tomorrow, an evil witch comes down, waves her wand, and I transform into that worm in our driveway. And yeah. you know that's me in our driveway. What do you do? Do you pick me up? Do you take me back inside? Do you step on me? Why are you giggling? You would murder me? What? I didn't say that. This is on camera. You would I didn't say freaking that. murder me. No, if I chop you into two, I got two of you, right? And you want two of me. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> Like, so you would dismember me. Uh, no. So let's say I'm a worm and I'm no longer on the driveway and yeah. you can't cut me in half. You just can't. Hey, what kind of stupid question Would you this? love me? Would you still want to marry me? Would you let me sleep in the bed with you? Sure, sure. Would you let me sleep in the bed? Sure. Where would you put me? Like on the pillow? In my mouth. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> what if you accidentally- sometimes you grind your teeth at night. What if you grind on me? Okay, okay. In my nose. <laughs> Why would you put me in your nose? That's like a parasite. <sighs> Be for real right now. Okay, uh, okay, I will step on you. Okay, you can't murder me, dismember me, cut me in half, and you can't stick me in your body. What would you do if I turned into a worm tomorrow? Um, because I saw on TikTok and they said the way that your partner or your spouse responds to this question mm -hmm. is very revealing on if they actually love you or not. Right, you, you're, you're, you need to find a better hobby, honey. This is my hobby. I'm a f***ing worm. Worms don't no, have like, hobbies. Stop browsing TikTok. Worms don't have hobbies. I'm a worm. Okay. What do you do? I will wait for you to turn back. What if I never turn back? Eternity? Eternity. Eternity till the Eternity. day that you die? Yes. Am I going to be in the... Wait, what's the lifespan of a worm? Do you know that? Again, like seven days or something. So for seven days? Yeah. If I'm only and then I'll alive... I'll give you a little funeral. Like I'll dig a little <laughs> hole in the ground and I'll put you in there. So if I'm a worm and we only have seven days together, what do you do? I will feed you all the leaves that you want. I'll give you all the cabbage you want. Worms don't eat cabbage. Yes, they do. Do they? Of course they do. Yeah. Worms eat everything. They so eat doo-doo too. <laughs> don't feed me doo-doo. I love you. Seven days and I'm gonna die. How would we do it? Do what? It. Do what? It. 
how would we do it? Right. You're telling me you only have seven days left with me and we're not gonna do it at all? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even warn, honey. This is stupid. It's, stupid. it's not What's stupid. What's the right answer? Tell me the right answer. Well, you're not getting the right answer, so I'm not gonna tell you the right answer because then if I tell you the right answer, you're just gonna regurgitate the right answer back to me. Okay, okay there's a different one. You wanna try a different one? Uh, sure. If I was a pigeon and I could fly away, would you cage me up? Even though you know that I would hate being caged up, but if you let me fly away, we would never be together again. You're a pigeon. I turned into a pigeon tomorrow, and I'm Do not turning back. you have a brain? A pigeon brain. Do you still think? Like a pigeon does. Like a pigeon. So you're not yeah. Stephanie. I am Stephanie. No, okay, not. no, you're right. I still think. You I still think. think. Do you I talk? It's still me. Um, but I like, only in pigeon. So you. <laughs> I'm a pigeon. I got pigeon genitals. Do you? What do you do? So, in China, <laughs> we eat pigeon. <laughs> Would you still love me if I was a thumb? <laughs> My thumb? Ew, don't stick me in your butthole. I don't want to be your thumb. Oh, no, why would I do that? Because when you're accidentally wiping or if you want to torture me, you would just boop up the butt. <laughs> I'm just a thumb and I maybe have tiny little arms, but I have a face and it's still me, but I just go like this and I'm a thumb. Would you still love me? Yeah, sure. See, I the turn, problem with yeah. this question, they're so unrealistic. It's so realistic. It doesn't reveal anything. He failed, 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 and I need to look for a new fiance because that means that he doesn't love me and that we're not meant to be and he's not my freaking soulmate. And TikTok told me that if he can't even do that, like if he would, he could. No, if he could, he would, but he didn't. And I couldn't. <laughs> and you couldn't. But you know what can? <laughs> Some people have the question of like, how does your fiance put up with you? Same. Listen, some people might say that it's my completely never annoying, just calm, smooth personality. Some say it's my deep, sexy voice that sounds like Negroni Spagliato. But I would like to think it's because I am fantastic in bed. I'm just <laughs> Why are you joking on your water? Just spitting facts today. I'm being serious. Our adult fun time life does help and it helps us stay connected. Physically and emotionally and I think a game changer for us is when we started learning about our own bodies apart Like by ourselves having your own solo time to discover what you like like what feels good It's so important to your entire relationship and even your relationship with yourself One of the ways that I do that is with this baby right here my other boyfriend This is the Lilo Ida wave and this is a dual stimulation massager I was curious because I was browsing through Lilo's website and this looked I'm not gonna lie It looked very different from what I normally use and I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit nervous but don't be nervous this was one of the best choices I have ever made on that website the Ida wave is this wearable product and you can go completely hands-free I'm talking you can control this baby through the app where they have different settings the Ida wave is super cool because it's gentle but it's also very precise so it feels like very sophisticated. I mean, Lila's devices in general feel very refined. It creates finger-like motions and I love using this solo and it's so empowering and he finds it quite hot and irresistible if I say so myself. Am I correct? Absolutely. <laughs> and if you really want to up your game, I keep a log of my O diary so I can track what I like. Just like open a note on your phone and lock it. It's just really cool to see when you have the best O's, what you did, what your routine was like, what you used, but also maybe it corresponds with like what's going on in your personal life or if there's work stress. It's so fascinating. You learn so much about yourself. Now has never been a better time to explore with Lilo because with Black Friday coming up soon, you gotta seize the huge discounts on all the products at Lilo. It's gonna be linked in the description. You will thank me, your partner will thank me, your partners will thank me, and just have fun with it. And thank you Lilo for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into it. I'm making a quick snackity snack. So this is my fiance's favorite snack, and I am convinced everybody that's in a relationship, their partner who doesn't cook much, they're always like, oh my god, my partner has this, my spouse has this one dish, it's like phenomenal. Honey, Tell you them have your more secret. than one dish. Tell them your secret recipe. I'm like, tomato, be so basil, yourself. mozzarella, balsamic glaze. I'm not doing anything revolutionary. That tomato salad you make, wow, where did you learn that? <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I saw this trend on TikTok <laughs> that people make their family sing this song. I sent it to everyone. My family? Everyone? Your family is my family. <laughs> oh, that's so I love you so much. That was so cute. Okay. 
So they make every family member to sing this. Yes. I, I have Dennis send this. Are you ready? Yes. Wait, can we take a guess on who's gonna be the best? Probably Dan Dan. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I don't know because your dad told me a million times that your sister no. is a talented no, singer. No, 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 no. My dad is delusional. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, that wasn't so the worst. I sent it to your sister and she sent it back and she said, I sound stupid. Okay. Have you heard your sister sing before? No, it runs in the family. None of us can sing. We're really bad at it. And okay. on top of that, I didn't think my sister would ever participate. Like her ringtone or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andrew sent it back to me. Okay. But I forgot to save the audio. But let's play this one. I'm gonna play this and you guess, okay? Okay. Oh, I have her singing it on the speaker. Huh? <laughs> That's not her. Oh. Oh, my God. That's me. Okay. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. Louder! Louder! <laughs> okay, bye. It's the seriousness for me from everyone. Okay. Everyone sucks. Okay, also, I know that this is a really bad take. Italians are gonna be pissed, but it's heirloom tomato basil mozzarella that I've diced up, and then I put truffle salt with red chili flakes and some nutritional yeast. I know that's not very authentic, and balsamic glaze, and this is literally our best snack. Okay, ready? He wants to sing. He wants to sing. Yabuseo! Abbas Herma! Abba Hebersisa! He said there's no way! Abba! You wanna hear Cindy? Only Hanan go to the Let me show you guys. It looks, it looks so good, no? I would never imagine myself liking <laughs> stuff like this, but it's so good. Okay, so you have to get a piece of, is it good mm. today? Amazing, and wow. And tomato. It's so fresh. Mm. And yummy. Okay, so I'm in the elevator going down right now and I am picking up macaroons which I had delivered to the apartment because we're going to the dollar shop. We met one of you guys at the dollar shop. She works there. I called today and she's working, which I don't know why I bought the macaroons without confirming first, but I'm so excited to give them to her. So it has two of these, but wow, they're so pretty. So we got to the dollar shop, literally right there. And um, I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna walk slow. They're literally all the way up in there. 
and I'm walking so slow. What? Hey, you're blocking people. I'm not blocking people. Ow, 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 ow. Don't push me. We're trying the plum juice. We're at the dollar shop again, and we have all of our meats and our vegetables, and we're waiting for the soup to boil. We're out of the restaurant right now, and so obviously the walking slow, it didn't work. I'm kind of annoyed by it. So I think that this time, I'm just gonna start rambling. This boba place that we're going to right now, boba place that we're about to go to right now. Oh, by the way, when I was walking to the- Like um, a different boba shop, sorry, has nothing to do I was like walking to this other boba shop, and there was like this dog, which by the way, I feel like I really like big dogs. I kinda want a big dog. That's like my, the vibe. What did I say? Boba shop. Oh yeah, okay. So then anyway, I'm like walking to this different boba shop. I was like, oh my god, that's such a cute dog. And I was like, yeah. and the owner looked at me, we made eye contact, it was kind of and, um, awkward. Yeah, anyway, so I was walking back to the boba shop. I wasn't walking back from the boba shop. No, I was walking to the boba shop. So I'm walking to the boba Where are you going? I don't know what you're <laughs> I'm literally in the middle of a conversation right now. I hate pigeons. What boba shop? <laughs> I was walking to the boba shop, okay? Can you stand on this side of the street? Because this is the side of the street that you're supposed to stand on because I saw this one TikTok Which, once. by the way, I was listening, I was watching TikTok while I was walking to the boba shop and I probably shouldn't have done that because they tell you not to do anyway, that. I'm like, do you feel like you're getting old? Why? Like you're repeating yourself a lot. Like you're rambling a lot. I'm not rambling. Like a lot. You're about to walk into a wall. <laughs> so I don't know who is getting old. Anyway, listen to my boba shop. Okay, it's we're so going to a boba shop. No, I was walking to a different boba shop. You're not even listening to the story. You're not even listening. I'm listening, what is it? <laughs> so if you see the boba shop one more time. <laughs> one more time. So. I, I was walking to the beverage store. Get to the store. point, get to the point. No, that's it. No, get to the point. That was my point. I was walking to a different boba shop before. Okay. Okay. And it was in my dream. Bruh. Okay. It wasn't even in real life. That's it? Yeah, what else would there be? Okay, then we're good. You went to a boba shop <laughs> in your dream. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, I want to go to Mango Mango so bad because it's on brand. Okay, let's go to Mango Mango then. So I was walking Mango the Mango other Mango. Day. <laughs> to the mango Okay, do you want to go to Mango yeah, Mango? Mango Mango, everybody's waiting on me. This is so cute. <gasps> There's a crepe shop, a test life. We should go to the test life. And we are going to Mango Mango. <gasps> Ooh, mango sticky rice. <gasps> oh. We're in a cave right now. It's so cool. It's so interesting. Wow. So this is not what I expected. I inside. walking mango uh -huh. to the boba shop. Okay. We are headed to the mango store uh -huh. and I was gonna pick up uh -huh. mangoes and then on the way there sure. I wanted to know how I was doing which by the uh -huh. way like our neighbor's yard is really well manicured am I keeping up with the Joneses? Uh -huh. <laughs> why are they like they're doing this? Us. why are they doing this? <laughs> they're hiding from us uh -huh. so um, yeah our neighbor's lawn is Honey, what well are you manicured. trying to say? Um, I feel like you're trying to tell me something I was walking mango Okay, I just want to say, these cars are literally dizzy. My parallel parking skills could absolutely freaking never. So we came to play some uh, fake golf with Oma. Can you show us how it's done, babe? You gotta stick your butt out. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Imagine you're... It says full swing, babe. Full swing. Alright, let me do one. Boom! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like you did that on purpose, you're so lame. Oh no, no, no. Mm -hmm. downstairs so that they could go play golf. When we had gotten to the little golf section, there was this guy in the freaking golf and I was so scared. I was so freaking I didn't nervous. Know if I should ask him like how much more he was gonna golf, you know? I was stopped in front of the poker room and I'm about to go what? into the I'm like right in front of the poker room. Which is being all three of them play golf. I think they play golf together. I don't know if this is the first time they play golf. So I'm in front of the poker room. I'm actually in front of the poker room. That's scary. Like, I'm There's a whole group of people. They're outside in the poker room and I was like, are you guys playing online? So I'm in front of the golf room. I'm like, oh my god, should I ask you? It was like this older dude. <gasps> I'm gonna show you the cutest picture. Everyone's like, oh, your mom is here, then who's with the dogs, right? I'm already with us in that. No, it's still. Yeah, yeah. Honey, you gotta listen that you're being rude. Isn't this part of the relationship is to listen to your partner? No, I love it. Great story. Are you cool storing me right now? I'm gonna cry. Hall time! <laughs> We're doing a letter for you. Hall time! <laughs> your favorite time. He hates halls. He literally hates halls. Bro, halls? <laughs> 
My god! <laughs> and to be quite freaking honest with you, 9 out of 10 pieces that you try on, they're whatever. Like what you're wearing right now, it's not ugly. I was literally in the elevator and he grabbed my ass. I did not grab it. It was you your back. Like, your ass is on your back? Yeah. Your ass is on your back. Yeah, it's a big ass. He grabbed my ass and he was like, hey, you look Bro, hot in that. You said I look hot in that. I did not say that. Oh my I was god. Patting your back. Like saying good. Good what? <laughs> good. Good what? You're about to say it, I know it. Good what? He's about to say good girl. <laughs> I'm rearranging my kitchen. Please don't judge me. <laughs> it's not gonna be a long haul. I don't want you to complain. I gotta go grab another bag of stuff because <laughs> I have so much stuff. Okay, so two things. During this haul, I'm gonna smack my lips nonstop because he doesn't mind when people smack their lips when they're eating, but he doesn't like it when they smack their lips while they're talking. And it has to be excessive. He doesn't get triggered when you just do it once. You have to keep doing it repeatedly. And the next thing is, he hates it, absolutely despises it when I buy useless gadgets. Now, our definition of useless is different. Today, I thought I bought some useful stuff, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna haul it in front of him. He's probably gonna get the most annoyed about these gadgets more than anything in this haul or anything today because he seems to be keeping his cool. Like, the guy doesn't even seem triggered or bothered or even the least bit annoyed, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> So, um, yes. on second thought, I don't have that many other things to haul. Uh, Tiffany made fun of me for carrying this pouch. Does this pouch say anything? Does she said, who bought this pouch? I said, <laughs> yeah, no, it means that. Okay, well, I bought this pouch and she said it's such a grandma pouch. <laughs> so, um, are you okay? My nice. lips are a little... Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Why are you smacking your lips? They're you dry! I'm sorry, they're dry! So you... I'm trying to like get them moisturized by rubbing them against each other, but... You got a lot of issues today. <laughs> yeah, I'll put on my chopstick. <laughs> I'm rubbing... I've never heard that noise in my life until today. You've never... What are you doing? I'm... <laughs> You making out with a ghost? What are you doing? So the first thing in this haul that I'm going to show you guys, I'm the most excited for this because I love when I just find really practical things on Amazon. I have so much use for these that I'm always amazed by humanity. Why are you yawning? Why are you yawning? Start You're off. tired me out. <laughs> what did I do today? Oh, that's good. So you know how it's flashlights that are connected to a glove on your pointer and uh -huh. your thumb finger. What do you do with that? What I'm going to do is sometimes when I do my mascara, uh -huh. I need light right in my face. You serious? Yeah, so I'm gonna curl and then do this. No freaking way. Are you serious? Yeah. It's not even just for when I do mascara. I can use this for anything. Turn it on, scare. No, the... seriously. What is that for? I'm beep, so confused. Beep, 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 beep. You're so f***ing weird. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you acting like me today? <laughs> I'm usually the one that's annoying you. Like, why are you acting like me? Are you trying to be me? <laughs> Guess how much it was. Fucking five dollars, two dollars, three dollars. It's rechargeable. I think it was like $59.99. No way. Yeah. Look at that. I can make that in like five dollars. Well, you can't get a regular winter glove, cut a hole, and stick a giant flashlight through it. Watch me. <laughs> no, you can't. You need to... Stop buying bullshit <laughs> that you saw on TikTok. A few moments later. That's kind of cool. <laughs> cool. I feel like Iron Man. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show you the next thing. I think you'll really like the next thing. These are... I have been looking for something like this. This one was actually really pricey. And you can just tell by the box. It looks like it came from Apple. It's got 120 million negative ions. So I read this thing on... Facebook that positive ions are really bad for you. Funny. It's like in the air. Funny. It's in the air. You can wear this device and it's like creating negative. Oh, you're turning into Iron Man. That's what you're trying to do. I think that this is so cool. This is so applicable and I would suggest that everybody use this. Bruh. This is like $300. This is not three hundred. It was. It better freaking work. That's Thank maximum much. like eight dollars. Okay, listen to this. Wearable air purifier has beautiful appearance. It has a function of purifying air, eliminating dust, antioxidation, anti-aging, 
eliminating germs. <gasps> I can breathe better. Get out of here. You seem pretty in a good mood today, considering I bought so many things you don't particularly agree with on a regular basis. Bro, this is like a daily practice. <laughs> I'm so busy running downstairs getting <laughs> Amazon packages on an hourly basis. That's a freaking lie. <laughs> I just dropped my mom off at the hotel with her friends and it's literally in walking distance from our apartment and they insisted that they walked me back home. Every single time that we were crossing the street and there was a man next to me, my mom was yanking me, literally more dangerously, across the street so that I wouldn't be next to a stranger man. They she think thinks they're gonna kidnap me. Oh, it's not that they're in danger? No, they're in danger of me. <laughs> so right now I'm putting in my noise canceling earbuds and I'm gonna listen to some loud music while my fiance calls my sister and my sister's gonna think that she's having a conversation with me and my fiance is gonna tell me what to say it, you guys have seen the TikTok trends I'm sure but it's gonna be a really disjointed conversation that's gonna lead them to probably believe that I'm on drugs let's play some some fun music I'm so loud oh, I'm gonna call her call yeah you, you gotta talk normal. Okay, is this normal? Yeah. I feel like I'm whispering. No, right talk now. normal, lower. Like lower? Yes, right talk here. normal. Yes. Is this good? Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm itchy down there. What? Like down there. Okay. So itchy, oh my god. What? I'm itchy down there. Itchy. I'm itching right now. You don't you don't have to create that. I told you to buy earlier? No! The one that you stick up in the No! You bought that last time! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It helps with itch! It's so bad! I wanna cry! I love you! What? That's it! What? Should I die? What are you talking about? I'm Just kidding! What do I do? Use the cream! I don't have any! Yes, you do! Maybe? What? What's going on? Nothing! Something's going on. Nothing. Something's going on. What's going on? I'm itchy. You're making me itchy. I'm itchy. <laughs> You're so crazy. What's going on? I'm itching my hair too because I have lice. What? Dude, you're crazy. I gotta go. No! You're being so weird, I have to go. Wait, can I take it off? Sister? I couldn't hear a single thing you were saying. He was telling me what to say. Oh my god. I just know that I kept telling you I had a yeast infection again. <laughs> Did I sound like I was on drugs or something? Yes, I was like, what is going on? But I knew something was up when you were like, I have lice. I'm like, no you don't. <laughs> I think you should try Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna call her? Hello? What are you doing? I'm watching the watcher. What is that? Oh, what you, why are you sound like that? What is that? Why is that so scary? I'm I'm not here. Excuse me? What do you mean you're not here? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you okay? Why are you sound so weird? I'm okay! Oh Where God. am I? <laughs> Who are you? Are you drunk? Maybe. Oh my A God. little bit. What? <laughs> what did you drink? Something good. Huh? You went out? Yeah, he's sexy. What? <laughs> yeah, very hot. What? Hello. <laughs> are you okay? Hello. 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 Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Are you okay? You're there. Will you I'm... be my friend? <laughs> Are you playing a haunted game? No! Whoa, 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 Got him! Got him! Oh my god! 
was really tiring. I like it, Picasso. <laughs> it's really exhausting to be this lovable all day. I did do other things, okay guys? Don't be judging me, I did other things. I think my mom being in New York it has been so hectic. My social battery has been completely drained. You, 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 try. No. <laughs> so, do you know what today's vlog was, honey? Yeah. You're trying to be annoying. You're trying to be annoying. I was trying to do your pet peeves for 24 hours. <laughs> Alright, so What's I What's my tried... pet peeve? Okay, in the morning I tried the hypothetical stupid ass questions. Like if I'm a worm, would you still love me? What if I was a pigeon? And then I was okay. walking very slow and you came to get me at the crosswalk. Then I started okay. rambling because you hate rambling. That was the boba story. Oh, I guess I do have some pet peeves, huh? Yeah, and then the smacking my lips when I'm not eating. But that was not smacking. That was <laughs> that was some weird stuff. And then the haul. The haul? You didn't even do the haul. Oh, you did. Yeah. The guy did. Yeah, the buying useless bit on Amazon. That thing was like two hundred dollars. No, it's not. Don't lie to me. I don't know how your mom and her friends have so much energy. They slept at three, woke up at six in the morning. They got drunk off of wine and beers last night. And my mom said her friend was so drunk she kept cuddling her. And then at one point she grabbed my mom's titty, and my mom no. was like, "Hello." Oh, Enough. Spending time with my mom and her friends today makes me realize that you never really get old. Because <laughs> when I was listening to them in that Uber, I tell you, they sound like 16 year olds again. It sounded like me and Patricia, I swear they were developing a British accent at one point. <laughs> like, they had their inside jokes going on and I asked one of my mom's friends about the inside joke and she goes, don't ask too many questions, you'll get hurt. <laughs> like, what? All right. So, how annoyed would you say you were today? One through ten. Oh, um, not that annoyed, honestly. You were cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, can we go now? <laughs> Are we done? I'm so sleepy. Yeah, usually we be sleeping at eight thirty nine. It's eleven. Yeah. I'm not even filming a mid midnight mango, and I'm freaking up right now. Well, sure. Let's hit check. <laughs> that I'll was see you guys. walking to the bubble shop. Tomorrow, a bunk. <laughs>